William Millen here for GetMoreSports.com. Our Recruit and Reload series moves on to the Maryland Terrapins, where Mark Turgeon is trying to save the momentum of his program because the Terrapins came into last season looking extremely dangerous. Uh, a very popular pick of national analysts, including me, to go to the Final Four, some even predicting them to win the national title because of their talented starting five. But Turgeon was never able to mold that group into a consistent winner, and he was never able to mold that group into a consistent entity really not showing any kind of cohesiveness, not a lot of chemistry out there. Now, for some, losing four out of five starters is absolutely deadly. But with that in mind, what I just said about those chemistry issues, you have to wonder whether losing four out of five starters for Maryland actually might help them if they get one of those starters back. Now, that starter, of course, would be Melo Trimble, uh, who would be a junior point guard. Now, he is testing the NBA draft waters, but he has been projected anywhere from a first to second round pick. I mean, not a lottery guy. He would be a late first rounder if he snuck in. Uh, more and more, I see him fall into the second round. So you have to wonder whether or not he's going to come back to school. If he does, you're talking about a Maryland team that should be in the NCAA tournament. They'll have an All-American quality point guard uh, playing for them, especially if he can have kind of a rebound season after the way he closed last year. If he doesn't come back, this is maybe an NIT team. They look extremely average. Turgeon has not built depth. At Maryland. He brings in a talented recruiting class, sure, but they're green. You can't count on these guys right now because they're not the elite top 50, top 30 recruits that a lot of other guys are bringing in. Everything with this program, everything for Turgeon hinges on the decision of Melo Trimble.